Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one ritzel at a time, back with his Tuesday guest and real estate entrepreneur, Omar. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. What's up, Michael? What's up, everybody? Hey, man. Uh, something, uh, something you and I need to talk about, we need to get off our chest, are all of these social media, these gurus that are, frankly, posers. <laughs> posers you brought back the 90s word yeah it needs to get brought back now yeah and literally i should post something that says are you a poser yeah yeah <laughs> is, is your expert a poser right let's let's show Ooh, that's some a good receipts. one yeah so let's mm-hmm. show receipts let's show the hud um yeah there are there are so many people out there and i i watch some channels uh that um that are talking about real estate real estate investing and making some really interesting claims when they don't have the history or the experience and more importantly haven't even done the research right i watch channels that are comparing 2021 to 2020 and making outlandish claims 2020 was a not a normal year if you want to impress me compare it to 19 or 18 or 17 16 or 16 yeah if you want to create scary headlines and talk about oh here's a good one there's a there's a channel out there that talked about it. Uh, foreclosures are up 67%. Oh my God, the world is ending. Dude, we did 27,000 of them, in, or we initiated 27,000 of them in September, which is 40% below our historical average. But yet it's kind of scary because it's 67% higher than 2020. It's, it's, um, there's a lot of posing going on right now. A lot of posers. Oh, it's- uh, a, a ton. And, you know, we were talking just, uh, we were just discussing it with the team and um, I was pretty passionate about all this. And I really am because, you know, there's a lot of paths you can take in this business. Right. And there's a lot of people that you can listen to. Uh, there's free content on YouTube. There's all kinds of stuff. And, you know, for the most part, you know, there are some people that actually do the business, do the work. Mm-hmm. Right. And they don't teach you. All they do is just explain their, uh, their past right? Which is cool. But I'd rather learn myself from someone who has charted the waters already yeah. and who has paved the way like yourself yeah. to ask questions. I'm not going to sit and ask questions how to get to 185 doors with somebody that's really good, you know, at speaking and, and, and is very like a book smart, yeah. right? But hasn't done the work. How do I, how does anyone expect to get to where you're at if i'm asking someone that's never been there yeah and the, that yeah. is that's social media for some sense but i'll take it one more step all these coaches right that have been in the business a long time yes the main coach probably has done a lot of you know of the work okay he's dug the trenches he's been in the game he's been doing it for a long time but then his coaches or their coaches are just getting paid to coach you yeah that's it they're getting paid to coach you they're not like they're not doing the business yeah ask them to see their portfolio yeah or ask them to see what did the what did you make last year yeah (laughs) oh you made one hundred fifty thousand dollars because a a bigger coach is paying you a salary to coach a bunch of little kids or a bunch of freaking people in the industry you never that you never made shit yeah you ain't in the business you're not in business so how can you explain that to myself and i'm seeing this and i'm seeing this everywhere right now it's mm-hmm. crazy and i'm like no no, no. i, I want to I get on the phone i want to go toe-to-toe with you like yeah. you, you tell me something i don't know and then i guarantee you you're going to get something from me on how to make more than you ever made in your life yeah so come on yeah it's it's really interesting right um one of the things that i want to see in somebody i follow is how did you survive the storms? There are so many people, and, and there's a lot of flippers that have been flipping the last three years. It's, yeah. it's never been easier, right? You and I had a show one time. About, never this is easier. the best. I mean, I think it was January. It's like, this is the best time ever to flip. Ever to flip in the history of flipping. Yeah. And if, and if that's when you were doing it, well, good. congratulations, you got lucky. But now to go out and try to train others? Oh, oh dude, my forget. God, that is crazy. I want to know somebody who was buying in 02, ran the run-up, survived and thrived, and then profit on the downside and came back, right? That's what makes oh. one, 
that's what makes this damn book impressive is we bought the first one in 02. We did something in 06 that showed us to get out of the way. We bought apartments. We did it. I mean, that's why one rent a lot at a time, I think, sells so well. It's because, oh, yeah, because it's our you story. went through it. Yeah, it's your and sur- story. And survived and thrived. Multiple twists and turns. It's amazing. And it, it's all because of your discipline as well. Oh, and for sure. So it's like, I'm going to ask you the question, right? I'm asking you why, how, yeah. tell me what you did. Give me a game plan, you yeah. know, with your buy box and, and understanding yeah. your market, uh, all, all of the above, you know, and can you predict if you're ever going to have an alligator? No, but you probably will. Yeah. So just know that and understand that you can have, 30 or 40 great properties and one alligator. Okay. But mm-hmm. this thing, that's why you got to read the book. Yeah. And, and the crazy part is other people will ask others that don't ha- have never accomplished <laughs> crap and they value that person's opinion yeah. on what to do next. That yeah. fucking, I'm sorry. I get mad. That, that just that irritates pisses you. me off because <laughs> it irritates me. Yeah. It's like, dude, I, I posted something today uh, you know, uh, about be humble, yeah. right? And know that you don't know everything. Yeah. Be teachable. Yeah. Yeah. At any stage of the game. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it is pre- pretty amazing how I actually call them entertainers. I think posers is a great word. But yeah, they're just entertainers. They got a, They got a fancy talk track. They got all kinds of video editing and music and all of this stuff. And they know the script. I'm going to scare you. I'm going to terrify you. I'm the only one you can listen to. And oh, by the way, buy my course, do this, do that. And they haven't done anything. They just haven't uh-huh. done anything. And, and, you know, it, we can go on and on on this topic, Michael. Uh, we really can. But, you know, mm-hmm. for everybody that's listening, you know, be careful. Yeah. You know, just be careful who you're listening to and, and, and do the, the research, you know, do the research. Like, how many properties do you have? How many properties have you flipped? Is it your money? And, yeah. or, or is it borrowed money? Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it split money? Yeah. Meaning yeah, that exactly. you're, you're buying houses, but you're splitting majority of your profits to, with everyone else. So you're really only making, you know, 25, 30% of that real profit. Yeah. So you make $50,000. What are you left with? Dude, this, I got I got a great I got a great example for you. Uh, there was somebody I was um, I was going to interview, but I t- I talked to everybody ahead of time and get a feel for him, so I didn't end up interviewing him. So this guy talks about owning I think it was I think it was nine thousand units. I'm like nine thousand units. I ain't done that. Let let's talk, right? Dude, all day. Yeah, all day. It's like sign me up, right? What's your percentage? Yeah, so I talked to him. <laughs> it turns out that he is really good at raising money. So he's a talker. Okay. And uh, so he is a GP, general partner on 9,000 units. And I said, well, okay, how how much money have you put in? Zero. He gets 2% of the deal to help raise the money. Interesting. So he he doesn't put any skin in the game. He's just a mouthpiece in a suit. And he gets paid 2% to raise the money for the deal. So technically... He owns 2% of 9,000 units, which is 180, but yeah. he didn't do the work. He doesn't know inspections. He doesn't know how to compare deals. All he knows is how to talk, 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 and help people raise money. I'm like, nope, not coming on my channel. I'm not having that conversation. Because it, it, it's a job. Yeah. And it's, it, 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 it's, it's not a- it's, It feels it's not icky. A, um, it's not an entrepreneur where you're like grinding and breaking and, you know, crying and crawling and getting back up and, and, and doing the work. No, he, he doesn't know what, um, it, yeah, he doesn't know how to manage tenants. He doesn't know repairs. He doesn't do inspections. He simply talks. And I mean, he does, he, what he does is clearly valuable, right? Somebody's given him 2% of a deal, right? I mean, yeah, but it's not, it's I mean, not what I want. doors by talking. Yeah. yeah. I, I just, I'm like, nope. Not my audience. I don't feed that market. Sorry, it's not good for you. It's not good for me. So yeah, I, I'm very careful with who I try to put on here. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Yeah. You know, so, well, good good call there. I mean, just, you know, 
overall, you know, cl- closing closing thoughts on on this topic, yep. Michael. What, what do you think on this? I mean, well, I think I think you got to be careful who you let in your mind, right? I, it, as I've learned throughout the years, your mind, your mindset, what you believe, really boils down most often to who you listen to, who you take your inputs from, and mentors, coaches, whatever you want to call them, friends, they feed you. So be careful that you're not listening to posers. I love it. Or entertainers. Or as, entertainers. As, yeah. as you call it. There you go. <laughs> That's for sure. There you That's go, buddy. awesome. Well, thank you for that. How can people follow you, get part of your team? Uh, guys, just follow me on IG at Omar underscore Alfaro, and uh, I'll, I'll help out. I'm, I'm real. If you like it, great. If you don't, then. That's okay, too. Go back to where you're at. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Take care. <laughs> All right.